All right, so we're going into summer 15. Uh, we're still doing the chi beans. We're still doing that. Um, I realized that there are some secret note things that I need to do. Uh, I need to follow up on some secret note stuff. At least one. I need to for sure get the one in the desert, but we'll gloss over that. I'm just going to write down secret notes down there. Um, other than that, I mean, I, I literally probably this stream and for the next few streams, it's just going to be getting cheap beans. So that's that's really all it is. Although I do, hopefully today, I will remember to go and see Clint and get my upgraded garbage can and get the next upgraded garbage can. That is my hope. Hopefully I'll remember to do that. No promises. Because obviously it's me and I have the memory of someone who doesn't have a very good memory. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab a truffle. I'm going to put the truffle in the oil maker. I'm going to grab this coffee. Make myself some triple shot espresso. I'm going to grab some star fruit. 40 star fruit, in fact. Grab those. And we're going to put the star fruit in these kegs. Because every star fruit I keg is a little bit more money that I need so very, very much. I really need to hurry up with these, with this, uh, with these chi quests because um, I really need to um, start making some money. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be making a lot of money this spring because I'm going to be growing chi beans. So, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit concerning. But if, if I can do this chi quest, it will make my life much, much easier. Got some more wool. That's good, I guess. Is that good? Do I need wool for anything? Let me have a look. How much wool do I need? None. I don't need any more wool so I can sell it. I mean, I guess I could turn it into cloth. How much cloth do I need? I do need one cloth. So maybe I should hang on to this. I have a loom somewhere. Um, maybe I should hang on to it and make it into cloth. All right, so I've got a milk. I'm gonna throw this milk in the cheese maker. Sorry, one second. Eye is bugging me. Seems like it's gonna be a watery eye night tonight. Dab. Next time someone says dab, you can think of that. Okay. So let's, um, I'm just going to pop down here. I'm just going to have a triple shot so I can move a bit faster. And I'm going to head down here. I'm going to turn on my animation canceling like so. And I'm going to, oh my goodness, there's so much stuff over here. At some point I really need to cut some of these trees down or cut down some of the, the, the non-tree things. Grab those. Maybe we'll grab that while I'm here. And what the heck, we'll grab this while I'm here as well. So let's grab all of the oak resin. Oh, there's a truffle. I think I sold like 50 apricots last time or something. I had so many apricots. Okay, so that's all good. Um, let me just... Ch I don't think I have coffee beans today. I don't think, or do I? I don't, no, okay. Uh, so let's... Um, maybe I'll just try and find my uh, loom. There it is. Let's just put this down literally anywhere. literally just need to put some wool in the loom. There we go. There's some cloth for me. Uh, Evelyn wants a leak for George. I probably have one somewhere. Alright, so let me grab these guys. Being careful to not grab any rhubarb. Not grabbing them unless I need them. 
Okay, uh, let me s let me put some inventory away while that's processing. Like so. And go into here and do that. And I'm just gonna... Oh, I probably could have made some more mayonnaise. Did I make more mayonnaise? I don't know. Whatever. Let's sell the cheese, sell the morel, sell the cheese, sell the void mayonnaise, sell that egg, sell the starfruit wine. And let me dump some stuff in there and put that in there too. Okay. And I probably should have sold the truffle oil. Great. Okay. So we've got 20 of these guys. So I'm basically just going to plant, um, there we go. I'm going to plant as many as I can here, which I think is probably about that many. And the rest of these can go in the greenhouse. So I'm just going to wait until these pop. Oh, we got an ancient seed. Nice. That's getting sold. So we got 23 more to go in the greenhouse. This is good. Things are really starting to pick up now, which is awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to I'm not going to dig up the rhubarb yet. I'm going to wait. Um, I'm going to try and like plant as many of these guys as I can in the greenhouse first because I've got like deluxe speed grow in here. Pretty sure it's deluxe speed grow. Screwed that up. Um, fortunately, I've got some mixed seeds here that I can use for that. Although, I'm going to be going to get some stuff. So maybe I'll, um, hopefully I can find three or four or five. Um, um, chi beans. Today, at least. I didn't even check the luck or anything. I should have checked the, see what the luck is today. Didn't check a thing. Uh, fortune teller. Mildly bad luck day. Okay. Well, I'm, oh, fortunately for me, there's a leak right here. Although I should leave the star fruit behind. There's a leak right there. All this star fruit can go in there. And the truffle. Uh, and I think we're good. I think we're good. So let's go to... Let's go see Clint. I may as well go see Granny while I'm at it. Um, there's another leak up there. Probably don't need this. I don't. Prehistoric tool. Pretty sure I have that already. Yes, I do. Okay. So we're going to give Granny a leak. And we can mark that leak off of the list. What's this? This is... The wizard wants a ghost. That's actually a possibility. It is a distinct possibility. Now, normally I wouldn't be doing this for Granny. But, since I'm already maxed out with the friendship, but it is a story quest, so I can now mark this story quest off my list. And there we go, we don't need any more leaks. Now let's go see, ah, crap. Ah, crap, you know what I was gonna, I totally forgot, I was gonna bring some iron with me to upgrade my garbage can. I should probably give Clint a gift too. What is Clint like? Um, hold on a second. Kind of stuff. Just Clint like. Aquamarine, amethyst, jades, not giving him jades. Topaz, aquamarine, amethyst, emerald. I could have given emerald too. I have lots of emeralds. So what do emeralds even sell for? 250. It's not bad though. Let's go home and grab. I can give him a topaz too, because he likes topazes. Emily likes topazes. Get him like a topaz or something. Think about a bunch of those somewhere. I do not that many. Let's grab an aqua aquamarine. Drop that off. I'm gonna sell the daffodil. All right. So sell the daffodil. Sell the prehistoric tool. All right. Now let's go see Clint. Just picked up another amethyst. Sweet. 
All right, so let's give Clint this aquamarine. Pick up my garbage can. I forgot the iron again. Dang. I really want to keep getting my garbage can upgraded. Ugh, do I have some iron up at the mines by any chance? I do. All right, let's just use these. All right. Be a shorter walk. Town. In here. Upgrade tools. Steel trash can. All right. Great. Back to the mines. All right, let's quickly get into the mines. Let me just throw some more stuff in the furnace. Let's throw in, I guess, whatever, what iron I can. And then the rest can be copper. There we go. I'll just leave it all there. Why not? All right, here we go. Get on my grind again. Actually, I just realized my triple shot ran out. Uh, all right. I kind of want to keep getting these um, death sprites for the coal. I also really want iron. Wow, another prismatic shard. That's like my sixth one this run. Holy cow, wow, what a seed. What a seed. I've never had chibi. I have never had this much luck getting a prismatic shard. I mean, what am I gonna do with them all? I mean, I could use them for gifts, but I'm probably gonna sell them. I'd rather have the money. Wow. Like, how many is that? Because I've already got my galaxy hammer. I put one in the museum, and I use one to enchant. That's three. And I'm pretty sure I have four. So that's seven, actually. It's not even six. That's my seventh prismatic shard. That is crazy. It's crazy. Like, I'm not one of these people that can just go and get a billion prismatic shards just because just I'm bored. Like, that's not something that happens with me. There's a ladder. Um, like usually I'll struggle to get, you know, the two that I need to get the um, galaxy hammer and, uh, you know, put one in the museum. Okay, so there's a ladder. Might as well grab this iron wheel in here. That's gotta be a rare drop. I'm pretty sure that was from a bat too, wasn't it? Wasn't that from a bat? That, that seems super rare to me. Should I keep going? Actually, I could probably put some more copper on top here. Or some iron, rather. So good. All right, let's throw in some copper as well. And drop stuff off that I can't eat. I will keep the chi beans on me to keep an eye on those. So the magic number, I believe, is five. I'm looking for five chi beans, ultimately. Hopefully I can get five. Uh, you know what? Have I given the dwarf anything this week? I have it. Let me give the dwarf a gift here. Speaking of getting distracted. Alright. Great. Let's start. Let's just go to level 50. That's where we were. Why not? Why the heck not? What am I looking for? Am I looking for baddies? Am I looking for crates? Maybe I should buy some bombs. coal. Oh, right, I put the coal away. Oh, where is it? There we go. Let's just grab that much. Um. 
Hmm. Oh, there's a ghost. I need one of those for the wizard's quest. Actually, that's not going to be a terrible idea. I do have to go see the wizard to, um... There's one. I do have to go see the wizard to finish the quest for birdie as well. Yeah, I might need to go buy some bombs from the from the dwarf. Hate to do it, but I don't really want to spend the money on it. But I mean, what's you know, a hundred thousand on? If I even spent that much, what's a hundred thousand on bombs when um, I'm going to be making? I need to make like. 13, 14 million in total. So, let's just say I hope I have a really good summer. <laughs> because, uh, if I don't, let me tell you, it's gonna be real close with, um, with the money. Money situation is concerning. So far, only one chibi, huh? Oh, there's one. Two's better. I would like to at least get three. I mean, I'd like more than three. But if I don't get three, be bad. Hmm. Oh, there's a ghost. There we go. Okay. So I guess maybe tomorrow I'll go see the wizard. It's gonna be a long walk. But... concerned at this point. I will kind of check for a... Oh, there's a ladder down there. Okay, forget it, I'm leaving. Alright, what do I have for iron? Two. Sweet. Got six gold, though. I'm going to throw the gold in. Throw in some copper. All right, let's get rid of some stuff. Ooh, so much stuff. Although I could start, I could start deleting stuff now. Okay, maybe not bad. Those are only worth one gold, so I mean, it can't be too bad. The fact that I'm not getting anything from for them. Um, I guess I could probably eat something too. Let me eat this dandelion, and then maybe I'll chat in on this crystal fruit. And maybe the other one too, why not? So I only have two chi beans. That's kinda not great. I'd like to at least at least give me three. At least give me three. I should have bought some bombs. Probably should have bought, definitely should have bought some bombs. Eh. Just gonna crack rocks and hope I get a, a bean. I really want another bean. Honestly, if I get one more, just so I don't have to um, plant garbage in the greenhouse. So I don't lose my fertilizer. Wow, every rock, no beans. Sad. OK, 
Okay, give me a bean. I wonder if luck does impact how many beans you get. That seems like a thing that might be a thing. There we go. Okay, we got three. It's not it's not great. It's actually pretty awful. Um, but we did get three. Actually, you know what? I bet you if I were to leave right now, how much um, coffee do I have left? A minute 13. I bet you I could go get to the wizard right now. If I leave... Okay, let me... Let's try it. Let's see if I can do this here. So let me deal with uh, chest things. Uh, those. And let me grab a little bit more coal so I can throw some more stuff in the furnaces. Um, that one, that one, that one, that one. Great. Let's deal with my inventory. So what I'm going to do is quickly... I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm not sure I'm going to make it. And I, if I'm committing to this, I'm totally going to get stuck. Is it worth the risk? I do want to... I, I need to plant the chi beans, though. Yeah. What I was going to do is go up through the train station, try and get down to the wizard, and then try and get back to the farm in time. Even if that were possible, and I am not convinced it would be, um, I need to plant the chi beans today. So... I, I definitely don't think I would have had time to get all the way down to the wizard, get all the way back to the farm. Um, get these guys planted. With Like, I, yeah, there's no way I would have had them planted in time. Absolutely no way. And we have some cloth. Excellent. I'm gonna throw that in there. Don't even know what I need. What I need the cloth for? What do I need the cloth for? Uh, where is it? Cloth. I need it for. Oh, to make a dressed spinner. Have I not made a dressed spinner already? Really? Is that right? I haven't. Oh, you know why? The iron bars. I'm just gonna make it now, just to get it over with. There we go. Dress spinner is made. That removes cloth from my list. Excellent. Uh, all right. Let's sell some things. Sell the dress spinner. <laughs> I'm going to sell the prismatic shard. I've got so many of them, which I'm very happy to say. Sell that and that and the sap. Let's just sell the winter root. Sell the mixed seeds. Uh, what else can I sell? The leak I can sell. A bunch of other stuff I kind of want to keep for gifts or for resources or for whatever's. That all looks pretty good. Throw the gifts in that chest. Throw the resources in that chest. Throw the geodes in this chest. And I think we are good. So I will go see the wizard tomorrow. Grab that. I will go see the wizard tomorrow. And I think I will... I could do it on the way to the mine. Because then I could just take the shortcut up to the train station and walk down from there. Or, that's all I can do. I don't have any mountain totems. So maybe I'll just do that. Because there's really no fast way to get to the wizard. That I can think of. I don't think there's like any sort of super efficient way of, uh, of getting down there. It's just such a long way. Do I have time to ship truffle oil and to put the diamonds in there? Oof. Look at that. Oh, time to spare. Time to spare. Light years of time. Yes, I know light years a distance of measurement, not a distance of time. 
or a measurement of distance, not a measurement of time. All right, 100,000 from the starfruit wine. That's excellent. At some point, I really need to make some more kegs. Uh, what's the luck today? Bad luck. Hopefully that does not impact my bean production. Because I really need more beans. Uh, all right, animals first. Just pet everything. Milk the goat. Missed. Milk the kit. Missed. I cannot milk this cow. There we go. All right. I don't. I don't actually know if it's worth. Um, I don't actually know if it's worth me doing this stuff every time. Like, do I really need? Is it really worth it for me to uh, be making mayonnaise? Should I just sell the ducks? Is it worth it for me to be? Um, all right, and we've got uh, coffee today as well. Let's actually grab the coffee. Get the first batch brewing. First one. Okay. Great. So let's do the coffee right away. And then do the first batch, and then we'll work on these chi beans. there. Can grab two of those, drop one of those off. Alright, so I'll put this coffee in later. Once the other stuff is done, let me just sell a couple things here. Let's sell the duck mayonnaise and the cheese and the truffle oil and the pine tar just because. Um, let's get out of my inventory. Let me grab the honey as well. I'm just gonna sell that. Okay, chi beans. Chi beans. Burns. There we go. Okay, we got 17. That's a good number. That do its thing there. Just gonna wait for it to finish. There we go. Okay, got 21, so that's good. So let's just replant these 17. So help me if you do not move out of the way. I swear you're gonna be nothing but chicken thighs to me. Okay, and we grab these guys. And these guys go straight to the greenhouse. Let's do it. Then we'll go see the wizard. We'll collect the reward for the ghost quest. And we will, um... Then what will we do? Collect the reward for the ghost quest. Um... Give him the... The... Thing we have for, um... Make sure I don't screw this up this time. Three, four, five, six. There we go. All right, good. We've got, so there are two plants. I got like a potato there, like a cauliflower up there that I will dig up when the time comes, but not just yet. Uh, so I think we're... Are we good? I think we're probably good. Um, what I could do, potentially, if I want to keep an eye on the coffee, is I could take a farm totem... Oh, the coffee's done. Okay, sweet. Never mind. I was going to say, maybe I'll take a farm totem. Um, to uh, to see the wizard, and then I'll wizard. I'll warp back to the farm. And then... Uh, then I can do the rest of the coffee, but it's all done, so never mind. So we are good to go... For the coffee. Sweet. All right. So. It's going to take me for a while to get down there. And I think now might be a good time to hit that triple shot. But. Let's go see the wizard. And while I'm at it. Let's give him that as well. I'm a coming wizard. Not even going to bother with the. <laughs> with the salmon berries. 
Honestly, it's like... I have a lot of food. I'll grab this because it's right here. Although I guess technically it is foraging. Have I maxed out my foraging yet? I feel like there's something I haven't maxed out. Foraging. Alright. I'm stuck. Although I don't know if you get that much foraging from berries. I'm not even sure. Maybe I should be grabbing it just to be safe. Alright, so let's talk to the wizard. Slay, grab that. Give the wizard this. Ah, an arctic shard. A most powerful substance, indeed. And, and potently infused with the element of ice. I'll take it, if you don't mind. Huh? Ah, uh, you're still here. Oh, you want something. Uh, take this. Give me a wriggling worm. There we go. So I can give that to Willy. Um, and I guess we're heading up to the mines after this. Don't think I'm going back home now. So, at some, so the next time I go to Ginger Island, basically, um, I'll give Willy the wriggling worm. He will then give me the pirate pendant thingy. And, uh... Oh, you know what? I keep, keep forgetting I need to do. I need to fish that thingy out of the spa and give it to Abigail to get a to get a hundred friendship points. How's my friendship with Abigail right now? Yeah, I need to I need to bring a fishing rod up here. Do that friendship thing. That would be good. Make sure I do that while it's actually still worth do, worth doing. Left one behind. There we go. All right, here a little bit earlier than yesterday, so that's good. Don't have anything to give the dwarf right now. I mean, I'll probably get something at some point. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. All right. Let's get on that grind. Get on the grind! Oh, here's something for the dwarf. Nice. Wait, does he like it? I think... I can't remember if the, dwarf, if the dwarf likes amethysts. Does the dwarf like amethysts? I think, I'm th I think so. I think the dwarf does like amethyst. Uh, dwarf. Dwarf does love an amethyst. Alright, sweet. Well then. Let's give, go give the dwarf, dwarf an amethyst. Let's do it. And we'll max out the dwarf for the week. Alright, give me like 20 bombs. Start with that. Anything else I want to leave behind right now? Bars, sap. Uh, I should probably eat some stuff, actually. My health's getting kind of low. Leave the slime there as well. And the stone. Alright. So, must remember to keep an eye out for good bombing spots. Maybe I should just ignore everything until I find good bombing spots. Let's just kind of keep flipping levels here. Oops. So I'm looking for lots of rocks, or lots of enemies. If I don't get either of them, then I'm going to move on. I mean, I'm here. Um, let's kill that guy. Alright, back to the reset. Some more bars in. Getting lots of copper bars, which is good. Hopefully I don't have to buy too much, um... Hopefully I don't have to buy too much iron in the end. I feel like I might have to. I'm not actually sure. Okay, we got a few rocks here. Let's go with this one. I, mean, I, gotta, I gotta break something at some point, right? Okay, so we have a ladder there. That's good. Let's put a bomb right there. Oh, two chi beans. Nice, that's what I need. Give me them beans. We got 
the ladder. These levels kind of suck anyways. Ooh, nice. Here we go. Give me them beans. Burns. Nothing. Some copper down here, though. Copper's good. Nothing. Oh, got slimed. Got slimed. Uh, maybe one more bomb. That bomba. Okay, we got one. Sweet. Uh, I should eat something. Uh, let's eat this. And let's throw the key of carrot up there and eat that. And I guess let's we'll see the green algae. Keep much of these one-off things to clear out my inventory a bit. And maybe this dandelion. Oops. And that's pretty good. I do want to have it out of my inventory. I don't want to like completely waste it. Bomb. Hmm. Is it worth trying? This level's kind of not great. Yeah, you know what? I feel like not. I feel like maybe I shouldn't. Can we just talk about, um, can we just talk for a second about, um, the wizard, how you gave the wizard an arctic shard, which is infused with potent whatever it's infused with, and he's like, oh, uh, I, I'm just gonna take this from you. Um, oh, sorry, you want, you want something in return for this thing that I think is awesome that I'm taking, I'm just gonna take from you? Oh, here, have a worm. Like, okay, Wiz, all right, let's, let's, you know, let's fine. I'll take a, take a worm, I guess. Thanks. Thanks for the worm. Appreciate it. All right, where are we at? Let's go to 35. Let's not go to 35, let's go to 45. Lots of little dust sprites. I do like my dust sprites. <laughs> like to murder them. Coffee bean. Would have preferred a chi bean, but uh, I got three. You know, as far as three goes. I wonder how much you get for... I was going to say I wonder how much money you get, but I guess all you really get is... Um... Oh, nice, another one. All you really get is... Uh... The chi gems, which don't get me wrong, I, d I definitely need. I definitely do not have all the chi gems that I need right now. off like this is going to be a game changer honestly if i can pull this this chi bean thing off complete game changer for my run because right now it's like i know it's possible and i've got lots of time like it's no big deal but how am i going to do it right it's like i know it's possible shouldn't be a problem but is it going to be a problem so hopefully if i can pull this off that will pretty another one nice will pretty much give me all of the another one nice i think that will give me nearly all of the chi gems that i need to buy all the recipes that i need to buy um which is going to be a huge load off my mind not going to be able to have other things like you know pierre's stock list and whatever like that's not going to be a thing but um, but yeah, I mean, at least I'll have all the important stuff. Normally I wouldn't do these levels, but honestly, I can't remember, have I actually had chi gems, or chi beans, from these levels? I'm not sure. Sure. 
Maybe I haven't. Like maybe those I shouldn't I shouldn't even I shouldn't bother with the infested levels. I wonder. I actually don't know. I haven't been paying close enough attention, obviously, uh, to know whether or not it's worth um, doing. I know I do occasionally get chi beans from these guys. I think I've killed all the baddies, so I can just leave my pickaxe out. Just crack some rocks. So we got seven. Seven's actually not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. be a welcome addition to my chi bean farming family. There's eight. Eight's even better. It's 10 p.m. Gotta keep an eye on the time. Make sure I get home in time to uh, actually get them planted in the greenhouse. What the heck? One rock left. My triple shot just ran out, so I think... I'm going to freshen that up a little bit. Let's also uh, throw in some iron. And maybe my quartzes as well, actually. I do need more refined quartz, I think. Then with whatever I have space I have left. Whoops, I almost bombed that. Oh my goodness, don't do that again bomb my furnaces and lose everything. Uh, let's get rid of all of this stuff that I don't really need to have on me. Look at all those scrolls I have, though. Holy cow. That's pretty sweet. I literally have one of every scroll. I got one of every scroll today. How crazy is that? The answer is very. Don't ask silly questions. Wow, that is... that's pretty incredible. Like, I spend so much time, or I spent so much time, it feels, seemed like, trying to, like, grind those scrolls and just, like, okay, I want to be able to buy stuff from the dwarf. Not getting a lot of, like, good bombing spots. I mean, I guess, you know, fine, I've got, I've got bombs now. So we got nine. We got ten. Sweet. That's actually good. Went from seven to ten in a hurry. I actually might just... First of all, I'm going to kill this bat. Second of all... I might just call this good. I might just, like, break rocks. Now it's midnight. So I do have to get back. This is good. This is good. Okay, let's just bomb this, then we'll go. Alright, so. Uh, let's pop in... some more copper. What? Oh no. Okay, good. I was like, I'm out of coal, oh no! Again. Alright. So. If you're looking for the sneeze, gonna try to ignore that. Alright, so what am I taking back to the farm? Scrolls. <laughs> so many scrolls. Uh, uh the copper bars, iron bars, fiber. I've got so much stone here. Let's take some more stone home. That, 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 that. Oh, inventory is full. I can leave you behind, leave you behind. Um think we're probably Good. Am I leaving anything else behind? I don't think so. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. Alright, back to the farm. I'll stop. Back to the greenhouse, actually. Right away. I should really put in, like, some pathing or something. Because for me to get to the greenhouse is a bit of a faff. There's so many, like, trees and stuff in the way. If I put in a path... That would make my life a lot easier. Okay, quickly, uh, let's plant 10 chi beans. One, 
So crap. Um, three of that. Two. Three. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's get rid of. I guess the fiber. And maybe the sap, I guess. Get nine gold back for that. There we go. Oh, I think I screwed that up. Um, I did screw it up, so let's quickly grab another mix seed. Like so. Quickly plant that. I screwed it up again. Crap. Oh, I'm running out of time here. Let's grab all my mix seeds. And just plant one there, one there. There we go. Running out of mixed scenes. Okay, back to the house. I'll see if I can quickly swing by the shipping bin and sell anything before 2 a.m. Okay, what am I selling? Uh, the clay, dandelion, dwarf scrolls, uh, bat wings and slime, winter root. That's probably it. Get inside the house before I pass out. Let's quickly have a look and see... Ooh, I do have five... Oh my goodness. There we go. <laughs> one more one more uh, coffee on the go here. Alright. Here we I mean, I, there's no point even looking at the money right now. I just need to keep grinding these uh, chi beans. So, we'll check the luck. Should be, what, Wednesday in game? Yep. Steel trash cans ready. Excellent. Do I go for the gold is the question. I might go for the gold. It is an Olympic year after all. Make some more triple shot. It's so nice being able to just pound triple shot. Okay. Things are looking good. Grab this thing. Quickly deal with the animals. Petting the bunny is very important. Cow or goat has no milk. Where is the cow? There's the cow. Come here, cow. Okay. Uh, I think I did coffee yesterday, I'm pretty sure. I did, but I do need to get those chi beans, and I need to harvest the trees, because the trees are full. Give me the trees, give me the chi beans. <clears throat> this actually might be enough to finish the greenhouse, which would be incredible. Because how many did I harvest? 18. If I'm lucky. I don't know if I'm lucky. I'm going to leave the uh, fruit cave. Oh, we got a duck feather. Nice. I need that. Need them gifts for Leo eventually when I eventually when I go back to Ginger Island. Okay. So my inventory is now way too full. So let's uh, let's let's harvest these guys first. I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have, I should have put the first batch of cheap beans in the seed makers. Whoops. Oh crap, I just put a rhubarb in there. That was silly of me. Okay, so that goes in there. Let's stop by here. We're gonna sell the void mayonnaise. We're gonna sell the mangoes. I'm pretty sure I have a mango that I, and if I don't, I mean, I'm gonna have lots more. Uh, we're gonna sell, what else are we selling? Parsnip. There is the raid from Nick Fat Knight. Thank you very much for the raid. Appreciate that. Welcome in everybody coming in from Nick Fat Knight stream. Also playing Stardew Valley. Nice. What were you doing if you're here? Um, what were you doing in Stardew Valley? Do tell. Well, I clean my inventory. Well, I clean up my inventory here because things are gross. So much stuff. So many things. How's it going tonight? Hey, it's going good. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you for the raid as well. What are you? What are you up to in Stardew? What are you? Uh, are you just like 
playing like a normal human being, or are you <laughs> playing like me and trying to do silly challenges? Alright, 18, so... Without digging up any extra... Rhubarb. Uh, just starting out, been playing along with my wife. Nice, my wife also really likes Stardew Valley. Funny story about Stardew Valley. So when I first got introduced to Stardew Valley, um, <clears throat> I, uh, I didn't get it. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of try trying to, like, figure out what was going on. I just couldn't get my head around. Didn't know what was going on. And then, um, I introduced, well, I thought, you know, it might be a good game for my wife to play, which is why I ch checked it out in the first place. So I thought, okay, well, let me just check it out. That's where we're at with it. Nice. So I, um, introduced her to it. I kind of said, here's what I know about it. Not much, but here's what I know. Um, knock herself out. And um, in the first week she had the game, she spent 40 hours in Stardew Valley in her first week. <laughs> like, it was just like every night she was playing a whole bunch, and on the weekend, like on a Saturday, so she played like 10 hours a day Saturday, Sunday. So it was crazy. So she ended up actually introducing it back to me and going, okay, all the stuff you were confused about, here's how it all works. And this is how, this is what it looks like. And here's how it operates and whatever. So yeah, it's kind of good that way. Um, if you're just starting out, absolutely do not look at what I'm doing and go, hey, I should do that. You shouldn't. Um, <laughs> what I'm doing, spoiler, is um, this perfection in two year challenge. There is a thing in game that you will find much later. Um, that is called, essentially it's perfection. It's kind of like an in-game 100% kind of thing. Um, and so that's what I'm doing, but I'm challenging myself to do it within two years in-game. So right now I am spring of year two. So I'm well over halfway through uh, the run. And yeah, the stuff you're seeing right now is not a typical I'm not playing like a normal human being, let's just say that. Um, so yeah. But that's the great, that's one of the great things about Stardew though, is that you can play like, you know, a normal human being, and you can also play like a non-normal human being. So that's one of the great things about Stardew, is that it's really super flexible that way, and it's kind of like super cool that you can, uh, you can choose how you want to play it. You can play it totally casually, you can play it like a not normal human being, play it like a normal human being. Lots of stuff you can do. Alright, so I need to deal with some inventory and then we're going to head back to the mine. So that can go in there. I want to sell the cheese. That stuff goes in the greenhouse. Everything else can stay with me. Alright. So... Shouldn't have sold the cheese first. Should have gone back to the greenhouse first, but we'll gloss over that. Anyways, yes, for those of you who are just joining from Nick's stream, uh, welcome. My name is Paul. I'm a variety streamer, although, let's be honest, um, I kind of am a streamer of extreme. So normally, normally, I would, I'm a music streamer. So normally I stream, like, music production, songwriting and producing and whatever. Um, normally. Uh, but I decided I wanted to do this Stardew Valley challenge, so I've basically been doing a non-stop Stardew Valley, um, since then. And, ha and haven't done a music stream in months. So, and probably won't for a while yet, because doing this challenge. So, that is what's going on with that. Um, but yeah, I, you'll always catch me playing some video games in a month, so I music streams anyways. Really depends on what I have going on music-wise. Uh, Alright, no, I want that. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's try... I don't know, let's go back to here, I guess. Anything interesting? Not really. Uh, this one here. Anyway, so yes, the perfection to your challenge. Um, perfection, if you don't mind spoilers. Uh, there is a lot of information on the wiki. But basically, like I say, it's kind of like an in-game 100%. Um, until the most recent update, the most recent start, the one point, the, the, the 1.5 Stardew Valley update. Um, 
there was kind of no way to do if you wanted to like quote unquote 100 percent the game just do everything there was in the game there was no kind of measure of that you kind of had to make your own um you decide what does 100 percent mean to you do that um just putting that there because i want to keep track of that um another one and so I was doing that before 1.5 came out. I actually decided, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, uh, um, you know, I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna try to do everything there is in the game. So I kind of made up my own list of things and said, this is my list of 100%. And then 1.5 came out, and there, um, it, like, there's like a, a version of that in game essentially, where you have 100% um, in game. So, and it's called perfection. So you have to do a lot of things to get it. Um, you have to do a lot of things to even get to it, um, to get to the point where you can start thinking about perfection. But, uh, I won't spoil anything unless somebody asks me to. But, uh, but yeah. So, it's super fun. I really enjoy Stardew Valley. I probably take it way too seriously. My wife always bugs me about how I should just, just play the game. Like, why are you worried about all this stuff? Like, why are you worried about this and that? You could just play the game. Like, no, I can't play the game, I have to do, 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 do sell the stuff for the thing. To the point where I actually built this website right here, which keeps track of all the items for me and keeps track of everything I need to accomplish perfection. Um, so at this point, normally it wouldn't look like this. When, if, when you first start out, I'll create a new game here, I'll call it Test. So yeah, I built this website. Um, so when you're just starting out, the list on the left here are all the things you need, including their quantities, all the things you need to attain perfection. So for example, um, for all the crafting recipes, all the cooking things, all the everything, you need to have, say, 17 copper bars. That's how many you need. You also need to have 34 copper ore on top of that, so it all adds up. Um, but one thing you need is uh, an acorn, for example. You need to have an acorn. Now I happen to know that you need an acorn to be able to craft a field snack. So on my right side are the things I can check off. So if I go down to the crafting list, which is down here somewhere, and I find field snack, there it is. I can check it off this list. It disappears from this list. You can see it's gone now. And if I look up here, acorn is now, has now disappeared from here. No more acorn here. So I built this website to help me keep track of all the things that I need to keep track of. Let me just delete my test game. There we go. Um, yeah, I built, I literally built this website to be able to do this, um, to be able to keep track of stuff in this challenge. Unfortunately, I built, I finished the website after I started the challenge. Um, didn't think that through very well, but to be honest with you, having never done anything like that before, I was just happy it worked. So yeah. So some may say, did I take Stardew Valley too seriously? To those people I say, yeah, yeah, I do. You're, you're right, completely agree. It's a bit of a problem. Uh, but what do you do? Hey, you know what, I'm having fun, that's all that matters. So, yes, lots of information out there if you want to know what's going on, why, <clears throat> and uh, if anybody has any questions, Happy to answer if you're okay being spoiled. And if you're not okay being spoiled, don't ask the questions because I'll probably spoil them by accident because I just really like talking about it. Also a bit of a problem. So, how's everybody doing? Nick, if you're still here, what, um, what point in the, like, what, how far into the game are you? Like, how far? There's the follow from Nick Fat Knight. Thank you very much for the follow. I need to eat something, actually. Uh, let me eat this dandelion. That's the wrong button. Summer one, sweet, sweet. Summer's fun. I like I like summer in, in game. I like summer in real life too, but I also like summer in the game. The, one of the best things about Stardew Valley, and I, oh, I mean, I always say this with people who, who literally say this to anybody who will listen, but one of the best things about Stardew Valley is um, it is so well fleshed out. It's so well thought out and so well put together. And um, 
it's just such an incredibly well put together, well crafted game. And um, this big update that's happened recently, um, somebody was asking me, you know, hey, because I've been playing Stardew for maybe a couple years, I guess, maybe. Uh, maybe a bit longer than that. I guess it has been a bit longer than that. Uh, anyways, but I've been playing it for, you know, I mean, I'm not like a super Stardew Pro or anything, but I've been playing for a while. And um, somebody had said, hey, like, what is, no spoilers, but what is the new update like? And I said, you know what the new update's like? It's like Stardew Valley. And, and, and I mean that in the best way possible. It's like, oops, all super well thought out, super deep, lots of new content, like so much to experience, so much to do. Um, it's great. And of course, being Stardew, you can do however you want. You know what I mean? You want to do a challenge run and be all crazy, do it. You want to do like a, a money challenge, see how much money you can get in a year or whatever, do it. You want to just play a nice, super chill, super cute farming sim, do it. You know what I mean? So Stardew is just one of the greatest games of all time, in my opinion. And yes, I know it was very heavily based on Harvest Moon. On the Harvest Moon games. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Get some more copper going. Alright, so I think I'm actually... I might leave some copper ore, but... Well, actually, let's have a look. Do I need any copper ore just randomly? I don't. I don't need to keep copper ore for any reason that I can see. Good to know. So I'll probably smelt that. Um, got some more gold going as well. Excuse me. All right, let me drop off some stuff I don't need to have on me at the moment. We're good. All right. Uh, let's pick a level. Anyway, yes. The, yeah, the reason I'm basically just doing mining runs is because of one of these in-game challenges that I'm hoping to complete to make attaining this in-game 100% um, possible. Who do you romance for the perfection challenge? You can romance anybody. You do have to romance somebody. Spoiler alert. You do have to marry somebody. Doesn't really matter who, but you do have to get married. Um, which is weird because I've honestly... Before, before the in-game perfection, I never got married in the game. So, who are your go-tos? Um, I'm Team Leah, personally. Um, being someone who is kind of artistic in terms of music, I have a soft spot in my heart for Leah being an artist. Um, also, Maru. I'll be I'll be marrying mar I'll, I'll be marrowing Mary. I'll be marrowing. Ma <clears throat> I will be marrying Maru, thank you, uh, in this run, um, uh, but yeah, Maru and Leah are going to be my go-to, but again, I've never, I've only been married once before, I did finish the perfection challenge, so in the game I had started before the official perfection came out, I was like, oh, perfection's out, let me just finish perfection in this save file that I already had, um, and I married Emily, because I just I needed to get married and um, thought, who do I have the who is this who is the, which single person do I have the most friendship with? And it happened to be Emily, so I married Emily. And that's li that's literally as far as I thought that through. So the only person I've married so far is Emily. Um, that was weird. Why did that sound happen? Um, more rocks here nice worth it 9 20 p.m we're doing well um how, how about you what are your um what are your thoughts so far on the the marriageable candidates all right that's probably far enough <clears throat> like i say it ultimately doesn't really matter like again the game's super well fleshed out they all have their own personalities and their own quirks and whatever um but technically, it doesn't, in terms of game function, it doesn't actually matter. It's not like if you marry one person. Is that true? 
What? Maybe I'm maybe am I telling tales out of school here? What, what am I saying? Um, well, there are slight there are slight differences. There are slight differences depending on who you marry, but I mean if they're not significant. Not really. Not 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 it's so much that you would say, no, I must marry this person or I can't marry that person. Doesn't really matter that much. Um. Bomb. Yeah, let's throw a bomb right there too. Why not? Um. Oh yeah, I do have links blocked in the chat. Sorry about that. Uh, absolutely send me a whisper though. If you send me a whisper, I'll check it out. How many do I have? 12. 12 is a de decent number today. I'll take that. Oh, actually, I should drink another triple shot of espresso. There we go. Alrighty, 11.10. Head back around bit. Ugh. 66. All right, let's ignore that. Uh, let's throw in some more iron. Nice. Okay, uh, another quick run, I guess. And then we'll head back to the farm. Ooh, we have us uh, some dust sprites. Come here, dust sprites. I require your coal. There we go. There we go. All right, so I'm going to put you there. It's kind of a waste, let's be honest. Ooh, no it wasn't. Got a chew bean. Alright, let's head back to the farm. Yeah, I'm leaving. Okay. And look at that. We got two furnaces done. We can put in two more blocks or two more iron bars. Okay, time for the old switcheroo. Uh, what am I taking home? Not the bombs. I'm down to two bombs. Yike. Uh, let's see here. Bars, slime, scrolls, geodes, sap, bat wings, frozen tears, solar essence, more geodes, winter root, amethyst, uh, amethyst. I'm gonna leave that here so I can give the dwarf. Um, and I may as well take some more stone. That's pretty good. All right, to the greenhouse. You know what? I've got a bit of time. Let me grab these. Uh, Need to do more foraging. I gotta get my gotta max up my foraging here. Oh, isn't my steel trash can ready? I think it is. Should I upgrade it to gold or do I hang on to Do I upgrade it to gold, or do I hang on to the gold for sprinklers? That is the question. That's a good question. Uh, Alright, let me just sell some things. That looks... good. Um, kind of tempted just to sell the salmon berries too, because I have so many apricots. I'm almost worried about food, though. I'm almost like, no, no, don't sell that. You can eat that. I only have seven gold bars. Yeah, I'm going to hang on to the gold. I don't want to burn through that just yet. Uh, oh, thanks for grabbing a clip. <laughs> Seth, the, the Mary Mara one. I got. I should grab that and throw it on my YouTube or something. Uh, all right, that goes there. Okay, let, and that goes there. Uh, let's go plant these beans. Oops, beans. There we go. Nope, oh, beans. Yep, nope, oh, there we go. Before I... Bum. Okay. Greenhouse is full of beans. Good. Let's then go down here somewhere. And hopefully... I have time before 2 a.m. in the game. Oh, 
Oh, crap. I grabbed one too many. Mm, that's okay. That one I'm less worried about. Okay, anything else I want to do? I don't think so. I would probably call it a night. Ooh, although I will throw in another truffle oil. Or another truffle. Oops. There we go. And put the rhubarb in there. Uh, actually, I've got enough time. Maybe I'll sell this truffle oil, too. Ah, it's 140 a.m. I got time. Look at all the time I've got. So much time. I'll even pet the dog. Look at that. Pet the dog. And look at that. Time to spare. Goodness. How much, how much time do I... I mean, I could have walked to Suzu City. Okay. Give me one second. I'll, I'll be morrowing Mary. I'll be morrowing. Ma <clears throat> I will be marrying Maru. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> in this run. <laughs> Oh, that's a fantastic clip. Thank you so much for that, Nick. Um, <clears throat> all right. Good night. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you for the follow and for the raid and all that good stuff. Have a great night yourself. Hope to talk to you again soon. See you later. Oh, my goodness. What, what a clip. That one's, that one's going everywhere. Okay. Um, all right. Let's deal with the aminals. Same pattern. Deal with animals. We will, uh... uh can't, milk, can't milk the pig. Why are you trying to milk a pig? There we go. Quickly pet the bunny. We need to pet the bunny. There we go. What do we have in here? Nothing. Nothing I want, anyways. Make some mayo. Here, let's make some cheese. Didn't check, didn't check the luck or anything. Didn't check the luck or anything. All right, uh, I might leave the tree fruit. And I'll grab my coffee beans and go throw them in the kegs right away. I just planted a bunch of coffee beans. That's worth a restart. Whoops. That was a mistake. Oops. Okay. Uh, let's try this again. And while I'm here, let's check the luck. Best luck today. Okay. Best luck. Good to know. Does that mean I'm going to get more chi beans, or does that mean I'm not going to get more chi beans? That is the question. Oh my goodness, every, everything's in my way. There's the rabbit. Make sure I pet the rabbit. Missed. Where's the pig? There's the pig. And where's the duck? Do I have a duck still? I got a duck somewhere. Is duck in here still? No. No idea where the duck is. That's okay. Alright, so we've got milk. Let's throw the milk in. And now, let's not screw up getting the coffee beans and harvesting the chi beans as well. I think I... It looks like I have everything. Like, it looks like I've... Doesn't look like I've been missing anything. Alright, I'm gonna hold the cheese to make sure I don't plant cheese. Pretty sure it's not even possible. I mean, technically you could plant cheese, but it's not gonna grow you more cheese, it's just going to decompose. Alright. Um, let's go throw the coffee uh, beans in the kegs immediately. Seven, nope, so we go down to five. That looks good. And 
hopefully by the time I'm done with the chi beans, I can throw in the next batch. Okay, let's harvest these guys. Again, I'm going to select the cheese. Just to be safe. I do have enough. I'm going to put... Oh, I should have put some in the thing already. Oh, well. Do not need the chi fruit. Let's get these guys in the seed makers. Very nice. Harvest a few more of these guys. We are good. I missed this. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm going to make sure I plant a chi bean down there. Just to be safe. I don't want to lose it. Anything I can do to lose, or to not lose, um... To not lose, like, code and watered spots is huge. Although, actually, the, um... The greenhouse is full of chi beans. So any chi bean I get now, I can plant rhubarb. Or I can pull, dig up rhubarb. So let's do that. Let's get some more of these guys. This is good, actually. Things are really starting to pick up now, which is awesome. I might actually pull this off if things keep going as well as they are. In theory, how many days do I have left? Eleven. Um, it's not gonna work. I... I don't know if it's gonna work. Eleven days, and I need the last... five... I can't... basically... If I get down to, what is it? F I mean, by when I have five days left, I guess f maybe four days left. I can't plant, I can't like, they t these things take four days to grow. Do I have anything here yet? Nothing. Um. Ah, oh, crap. Um, they take four days to grow. Well, how many do I have growing right now? Let's, let's, let's have a look here. Let's, let's break this down. Because, I mean, hopefully I'll be able to do it. So right here, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 18, 22. 22 times 8 is 160, 176. Plus whatever I have in the greenhouse. Well, 778. 178 plus whatever I have in the greenhouse. I am a little worried. I mean, if I'm like halfway there, I'd be... I'm an idiot. I didn't replant the greenhouse. I gotta reset the day. Uh, but in the greenhouse, so this is 120 minus 4 for is 116 minus 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 116 minus, oh, I got some more coffee beans over there too. Uh, 116 minus 24 is 92. So it's 176 plus 92, which is 180. Which is 274. So I actually, I'm halfway there. If I have 274 growing, I'll make it, actually. Or will I? Because putting them in the seed makers... I was thinking, I'm going to get this harvest. If I put them all in the seed makers... If I get at least... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to double it the next time around. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be tight. Because I only have... Even right now, if I, if I planted right this second, I'm only going to get two more harvests. So in the next two harvests, 
I have to double the crops I have. Is that going to happen? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely not sure. I literally only have... Okay, I'm gonna pet the bunny. I'm not gonna bother dealing, I'm gonna pet the duck. Let me just confirm I don't have a duck feather or something that I actually want. I do not, everything else can sit. Um, I will deal with the cheeses. Let's grab some coffee beans. Let's pull out the cheese. Let's grab the coffee beans. Must make sure I replant the greenhouse first, especially because I've got like speed growing there. Gonna kind of need that. <clears throat> I'm also gonna start hurrying because um, I really need to. Let's put. Should I put some cheese beans in the? I guess I could. It's not gonna hurt. Okay. Then we go inside the house. First batch of chi beans ready to go. Twenty-two. How many did I pull out of the? Well, I've put in twenty so far. Twenty-six. So well, maybe I'll start harvesting these. And then once these things finish, should be any second. There we go. Do that. Now I have enough to replant the greenhouse, which I will do right now. <laughs> okay. Greenhouse is done. And I've still got 16 left, so be expanding a little bit. Okay, 21. All right, let's start work on the next row. Okay, got six more. There we go. Grab those. Kind of a little bit worried about this. This is such a big thing though. Like this is so key to my success at the perfection run. I mean I shouldn't say that. Like I'm sure I could work out other other ways to, to make it work. I'm sure that I could, I mean certainly. Surely. Surely I could do that, but this would make it so much easier. Unfortunately, what this means is I don't have anywhere near as many beans as I thought I did. So I have a hundred, what did I say I had in the greenhouse? I had, um, it's 106. 16 minus 24 is 100 or is 94 plus 4 and 16 17 18 19 19 times 8 is 152 is that right 
oops, 19 times 8, 152 plus 94, I just, whoops, I put times 92, 152 plus 94 is 246, so I'm nearly halfway there. Now, in theory, I should be growing exponentially. Um, in theory, the growth should be exponential. So if, if in the next three days, if I could fill every spot I have a sprinkler on in the next three days before I have two full cycles left, I might be okay. I might be able to pull it off. That is my hope. In theory, it should work. I think. I really hope it does. Um, it's like I really hope it does. Oof, yike. Yeah, that's, it's getting a little scary now. It's getting a little bit scary. So, I mean, the grind is now as important as ever. Uh, move dog, I need to harvest some stuff here. All right, well, let's, let's, let's get on my grind. Let's do this. Dude, whoops, need to keep getting as many chi beads as possible. I mean, if I could pull this off, I'm gonna be so happy. Uh, I have nothing left to smelt, okay. Let's just grab all these bars out of here. Probably shouldn't have bothered doing that. That's okay, I will grab the, put the coal on my person. And here we go. Wow. No rocks, no enemies. I'm gonna buy some more bombs. I am kind of a little bit desperate right now. A little bit desperate at the moment. Um, here we go. That's worth bombing. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's not worth bombing anyways. Okay, we got a ladder, that's good. No chi beans yet. It's okay, it's still fairly early. It's only noon. So I got 14 hours, well, 12 hours in game before I gotta head back to the farm. Plant whatever chi beans I do get. <clears throat> Hopefully I get lucky. Get a level where I get like three or four and then... Um, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> I'm a little nervous about this because this would be a lot of time and spent in game and if it's like an all or nothing thing too like you don't it's no prizes for second place on this one either i get 500 key chi fruit or there's three which is awesome or i mean it's a bust or this entire you know 21 days in game um that i could have been spending getting resources for more sprinklers, or could have been spending, uh, you know, finishing up friendship stuff or whatever, is a complete waste. So... Hopefully it works out. Hopefully it works out. I mean, there's really nothing more I can do about it short of just being a better video gamer, which is not going to happen before this challenge expires. So... Now here's an interesting question. So we get some bats showing up. I'm tempted to like stick around and kill them and see if I get some drops from that, but
Here's another interesting question. So that was level 46, right? I got like three chi beans from level 46. So let me ask you this. Let me, let me, let me ask you something. I'm going to go back to 45. I didn't get any from 45. Like I got none. I got one there. I'm just wondering if like, it's a bit more likely on certain levels. If it is completely random. Wow, this guy is just away from me. All right, so I got one there, so I'm up to four. It's better than nothing. So this level here, I got like a bunch. This is a total waste of a bomb, but whatever. But we got one, so I'm not mad at that. Unfortunately, we also, I'm kind of sad we got a ladder right there, because now it means I have to walk all the way back. Got two on this level. Got three on this level. I mean, it's a pretty small sample size, but the evidence is pretty strong. If I get like one more, I don't think I'm even gonna bother changing. Like I'm just gonna keep doing this level until it proves itself to be unfruitful. As the kids say. The kids always say stuff like that. So I got some... What did I have? Two on this level this time. It's not great, but I mean, if I can get two every time... And honestly... I can get a couple every- I mean, honestly, like, that- that's not a bad thing. Like, if I can get a couple every time, I mean, that would be awesome. Closer to the ladder, that's good. I did get one, so I got one on this level, the f I got none on this level the first time. Got one on this level the second time. Again, I mean, part of me wants to think it's just random. Like, why would one level be more likely than a different level, right? Um, so we'll see, if I get, if I get, I didn't get any on the last one. If I get none this time, I'll just assume I just got super lucky. I need to eat something. Yeah, I just <laughs> looked at my food. Uh, let's maybe eat some crystal fruits. What else do I have to eat? Uh, winter root. And that's pretty much it. So let's start with the winter root. And then we'll go crystal fruit. And then I guess I'm doing eggs. Wow, eggs give you a lot. That's sweet. There's a lot of uh, crystals there. I thought we were on the off chance you'd get one from a crystal. Okay, we got one. I mean, so far, every time I've been in this level, I've got at least one. So it's a bit of a pain to get two. But, uh... There's two. Honestly, that's a pretty compelling argument. Because, like I said, even if I got two every time, I'm like, I could hit this level ten times, right? Like, even if I even if I only got two every time. And I mean, some there have been days where I didn't even get nine chi beans, so. Maybe it's just the overall luck, maybe it's, like, who knows, but, um, honestly, I'm just gonna keep doing this, because this is just 
It might be a coincidence. In fact, I'm not even going to bother on 45. Let's just go. It might be a coincidence. But so far, I've had at least two every time on this level. There we go. Just going to bomb that so I can keep moving. So if I can get two every time, I mean, I would be having a very good day. Okay, this one, all right, this one is definitely different. So this one, I did not get any. So that one, I got none. No chi beans there at all. Interesting. So maybe it was coincidence. Maybe I was just, or maybe I was just getting lucky. I'm gonna try it again. Um, obviously. But, uh... Again, I'm kind of just looking to, like... I'm just looking to average up, basically, right? Like, I'm just looking to, like... Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, we got one there, that's good. Ladder. Get the close, uh, the close rocks. Okay. So, well, that was a quick ladder. Um, so, so far, we have, uh, oh my goodness. So, three out of the four times, we've had at least two at least two chi beans. Let's see what we get this time. <laughs> Got a magnet ring. And it's midnight. Okay, I must have been coincidence. But tw so twice I got a couple of some chi beans, twice I got none. So I guess it was coincidence. So which tells me that A, I need to hurry back to the farm. But B, because it's 12.30 already. Um, but B, you know, I don't think I'm going to bother with uh, smelting stuff. I don't think I need the bars anyway, so let's just leave everything here to smelt for next time. Um... A, I need to hurry back to the farm. B, it's probably coincidence that I was getting such awesome luck. Fair enough. I'll accept my fate. Uh, all right, so I think that's probably pretty good. Back to the bus stop. Let's get these chi beans planted. Got 10. I mean, 10's a good number. Like, 10 is about as many as uh, I've got some days. So. Mother Muffin, I keep... I keep trying so... Oh, I missed a spot there? That's even worse. I keep trying to not screw that up, and I keep screwing that up. Oh, well. Uh, Alright, what else can I sell? Sell you, sell you, sell you... Um, so like you, it's 1 a.m. Probably have enough time just to deal with some of this stuff. Drop that off. Whose birthdays am I missing too? Like, who knows how many birthdays I'm missing? Like, ugh. This is a pretty big risk I'm taking here, but hopefully it pays off, I guess. Drop 
pop off the rhubarb and the coffee bean, I will grab truffle oil, or truffle rather. Grab these coffees. Make some more triple shot. And since it's, since it's only 120, I have all the time in the world. Let's sell the truffle oil. And dump the jade in here. And go to bed. Okay. I'm concerned. I just... I don't know. I The thing is, I've never done this quest before, so I don't know if I'm doing well, I don't know if I'm doing terribly, like, I don't even know how to gauge it. Um, it's bad luck. <sighs> well, I mean, fingers crossed, I guess. Let's just do a quick review of what we have going on. So we got a few chi beans ready here. Let's check the greenhouse as well. Um, yeah, the plan for next time is the sa I can't even get through here. The plan for next time is the same as the plan for this time, which is just all chi Wow, that's com completely socked in there. Uh, which is just all chi beans all the time. Um, bunch ready in here, so that's good. So with those, I could potentially... Um, 10 days. I don't know. I, I don't know. Got a handful there. Got a bunch in the greenhouse. Should be able to finish that area. Maybe even start replanting this area with chia beans. I do have a few gold bar... There's five right there. Uh, yes. Where do I sign? Um, so... Going into summer tw summer 19. Animals. More chi beans. Uh, so let's see here. Can delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. So, um, harvest, artifact, artifact, spot, by lower rhubarb for up to five beans um that's clutch uh so we'll get those planted um should be able to hopefully get replant all those work start working on the lower area as well um and yeah we just kind of grind and hope for the best like i say if i can get i don't know i don't know I just, I don't know. I have no idea. I just have no idea. I have no idea if I'm getting a good number every day, if I'm not getting enough every day. I just, I don't know. I don't know, but I guess we'll see next time. That's the plan for next time, is just get on this chi bean grind. Um, yeah, pray for me. <laughs> Mary Maru.